Hello and welcome. I finally found Lay's Wavy Cuban Sandwich Flavored Potato Chips. Found it at a gas station. I've been looking for it for the last several weeks. I've been wanting to try this limited time flavor. And I finally found it. And uh, it's uh, supposed to be a Cuban sandwich. And my expectations are ham, pork loin. Mustard, pickle, Swiss cheese. That's what I expect on a Cuban sandwich. I want to see how they deliver. I like the branding on the bag and the backside, the nutrition. If you want to pause the video and look at that. And yeah, so it's bold, savory, crunch, crunchy. And, uh, Yes, I'm gonna do it using my scissors. Cut the bag. Just looking inside and kind of smells like a a cheesy potato chip. So I'm gonna pour some of these out and I'll give you that close up. There's a closer look at the bag. And uh, you can see the wavy chips are kind of seasoned a little bit. And, uh, oh, there you go. So you saw that close up. The aroma is kind of like a low-key cheesy chip, but let's try one of these. Okay, first impression, pickle or dill, but definitely a pickle flavor going on. These chips are dusty, feels like a cheese dust, but they are a little black dark spots on there. Yeah, the Cuban sandwich wavy chips from Lay's tastes like pickle Cheese chips. You know, like that cheese dust. It's not like cheddar cheese. Um, Trying to look at the ingredients. Okay, there is cheddar cheese, there is Swiss cheese, brown sugar. So, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not getting anything that would resemble. Look at that picture. Ham or pork loin. I am getting pickle. I'm getting cheese. So to me, it's pickle and cheese, not getting any mustard. Not getting any kind of smoke, uh, meat flavor, smoky meat flavor, no pork loin, no ham. It's pickle and cheese. Heavy pickle, light cheese, no meat flavor, uh, no mustard flavor. That's what I would expect in a Cuban sandwich chip. And uh, these are, they're good, but they're disappointing for what they're advertising them as. Cuban sandwich, and uh, I'll eat I'll eat all these chips, but it's uh, a disappointing six point three two out of ten. So, as always, thank you for watching. And you have a great day.